So the facilities, I'm sure, are pretty nice in Palo Alto, but what's it been like just to be at the Star over these past couple of days? Man, it's a, it's a complete different experience. I mean, Stanford's nice, you know, the campus and all that's nice, but it's a little different out here in Dallas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, it's been good to, you know, get, get get the helmet back on, get out here again and, and start, you know, building that chemistry with new teammates, all that. Um, it's been fun, man, just to be out here. And it's honestly a blessing. Is, is it mostly cover three that you've gone against so far? Or has it been much man or other principles? You know, a lot of it today just was, was a lot of man, you know, cover one. Um, so, I mean, you, we got to go up against each other uh, with, you know, Nation and, and Kelvin. So... You know, those those are some dogs right there, too. So uh, keep a lookout on them. What are your impressions of both of those one by one? They're great. I mean, I feel like, you know, they, they're respectively good at their position and, you know, bring bring different aspects to the table. Nashawn's big and long. Um, Kelvin's quick and fast and, and plays smart. So, um, I mean, obviously we didn't get to go, you know, many plays today, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to get work against some of the best. Yeah, yeah. So I've seen him. I've seen him around. You know, he came. Obviously, he texted me. Um, you know, a couple minutes after I got drafted. You know, just you know, telling me like get ready to work and we're, we're about to go light up the league and all that. Um, and then I I seen him in the locker room here and there. Um, he's a cool guy, man. Down to earth, super humble, and I mean, obviously, he's a ball player too. When the veteran, when the work with them starts, what are you hoping? Uh, to get out of, of that work, and do you anticipate the bar being raised on the competition and speed of things? A absolutely. You know, you look at the receiver room, and we have you, we have some players now. You know, you got Amari Cooper, you got CD, you got Michael Gallup. All these guys are, you know, legitimate players in the in the NFL, and you know, sometimes arguably, you know, top five in the league. So. Uh, being able to work with them and around them is not only going to, you know, help me with my game, and um, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm just excited to compete against them, um, and and you know we're we're going to grow as a team and, and be some pretty solid wide receiver unit. Okay, so with that in mind, why is it not like overwhelming for you to look at that wide receiver room and be like, man, how am I not, how am I going to get any playing time with these guys here? Like, how do you how do you kind of handle all that mentally? Yeah, you know, I think for me. I look at it as an opportunity to get better. Um, you know, working with the best, obviously, you know, you, you surround yourself with the best, so you tend to become the best. So I'm just excited to, you know, work with them and um, have the opportunity for that. Yeah, Tim, you told us on draft night that you still felt like you're a raw receiver, still developing your skills. What areas do you think you can still get better at? What are you trying to work on at this camp and moving forward? Yeah, you know, for me, especially in the Stanford offense, you know, I was mainly that, you know, take the top off deep threat type of guy. Um, and so for me, just working on getting in and out of my breaks, becoming a more versatile receiver. Um, you know, in camp, they have me playing Z and F. You know, in, high, in college, I was playing X, Y, F, Z. I played it all. So um, they have me moving around. Um, so hopefully, you know, once I, you know, start to refine my, my moves, get in and out of my breaks, it's, it's going to be, um, I'm going to be pretty versatile. Have you decided what your learning style is going to be in your wide receiver room with you know guys like Amari Cooper, who you know Amari's considered one of the best route runners in the league? Like, how are you just going to do more kind of quietly observing? Are you going to ask a lot of questions? Are you going to be vocal about trying to learn? What, what's your style going to be? Yeah, I mean, I'd say for me, just in general, I'm I'm a little bit of both. You know, I'd like to watch them, watch them, see how they work, and, and try to just mimic that. You know, and then also if I have questions, I'll obviously ask questions as well. What's one thing from Coach Henry in these last couple of days where you just said, wow, I didn't even think of that? Is there any, anything, that, anything like that that's kind of popped up about playing the position, a certain technique or a certain alignment or anything? You know, just something for, for all of us that he's been drilling is, you know, keep it simple. You don't got to overthink things. And, um, you know, and, and that's helped me be able to play faster. You know, obviously lining up and, and knowing the play is obviously important. But um, try to keep it simple. You don't got to add stuff or make anything up. So. That's something that really was like, yep, that's 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 good for me.